Hello, Internet and Digi friends. I'm RT. Rolling Thunder. And with patch 3.2 out, I thought it was time to give you rookie paladins out there the lowdown on how to be awesome. We're gonna go over the Heaven's Ward skills you pick up from 50 to 60 and how they're best used. Or at least how I use them to great success. And we're going to end on the ultimate paladin secret to tanking. Let's take a quick look at our first skill, Sheltron. Sure, it's a guaranteed block, and sure, it's a 30 second cooldown off the GCD, but that's only part of it. Sheltron also returns a portion of mana back to you when it triggers the block, and that amount of mana just happens to be the exact same amount of mana used for Flash. Hmm. More on that later. Sheltron is best used when you see a boss casting a big hitter, or when you need the added shield swipe aggro. Use it on cooldown and learn to love it. Next up is Goring Blade, and this is not a thing you'll do often because it's awful for aggro gain. It follows Riot Blade and leaves a DOT effect, so I guess if you're in the mood, then go for it, but it's mainly given to us as an off-tank DPS skill. If you find yourself as an off-tank or in a DPS rule, then put an application up and go back to your Halone combo. Or your Authority combo if you're a fancy level 60. That's all the more time this skill deserves, moving on. Divine Veil is actually pretty handy and I've grown to love it. Every time someone direct heals you, you put a bubble on your Digi friends within 15 yalms. That's worth 10% of your max HP, which for Paladins should be a lot. 3.2 closed the book on maybe use some strength gear, and Paladins like myself have won out. Stack Vitality because your only purpose is to take hits and keep aggro, and now the Vitality affects Paladin damage output, throw that strength gear out. This skill lasts for 30 seconds, and you'll want to use it when you know a group damage phase is coming up, or if you ever teamed up with a Dragoon. You know why. Dragoons, you know. Don't use this on cooldown, but have it up on your bar and pop it when you need to because you're more than a good paladin. You're a good pal, it then. Am I right? Am, am I Clemency is meh, and I'd like to explain that acutely accurate statement with the fact that it costs a lot of mana. Is it handy? Yes. It's a 1200 potency bomb heal on a two second cast, and half of whatever you heal for is given back to you. I keep it up and I use it to alleviate the stress on healers during boss fights or whenever I'm off tanking. It ceases to exist as a thing when I'm main tanking, which I always am because I'm a paladin, because I need that precious mana for keeping aggro and spamming flow. <laughs> Almost let the secret out. Use clemency only as needed and be aware it's going to drain your mana in a hurry. Squeenix decided to cap off the trip to 60 with Royal Authority. It's a 350 potency smackdown that replaces Rage of Haloran as your T3 skill. To be completely honest, you'll know when to use this. When you've been on a boss for what feels like forever and you're comfortably ahead in the aggro tables, you can maybe switch out a Halorn for this once or twice, but in Shield Oath, it's going to hit like a soft summer shower on a warm day. The real use for this is flipping to Sword Oath during burn phases and spanking ads or orbs or tentacles or nails or whatever needs to die right now and you have to help. All in all, it's not a bad skill and when I'm OT or DPS, I use this and Goring Blade to great effect and it feels right. But again, I'm a paladin and I should be busy tanking, which leads us to our super secret formula to paladin tanking success. Surprise, it's flash spam. Get as many bad guys as your healer can heal through, spam flash. Use Sheltron to get more mana for more flashes. When you're out of mana, Riot Blade combo on mobs to get a full mana bar back for the next pack of batteries upon which you will flash spam. It may sound boring, but here's why it's amazing. Because you'll be focused on a billion other things. What defensive cooldowns should you be using? Are the mobs tight enough? And are they facing the right direction? And are they in the right spot? And are you in the right spot? And what's that debuff that just hit the healer? And why aren't the DPS running away to break chains? You get my point. A paladin has a lot of health, and flash spam tanking is simply hands down the best way to keep your black mage and summoner blasting AoE spells. On bosses or single target, by all means, Haloran combo until your keyboard breaks, but that's it. You wanna be a good paladin? Learn what your skills do and spam flash until you win. You want to be a great paladin? Use that free time to manage defensive cooldowns like Bulwark and Divine Veil. Use it to group and position your enemies. Use it to constantly stop the Dragoon from animation locking himself to the floor. Ugh. I hope you all enjoyed this guide and as always leave any thoughts or comments or tell me I'm awful in the comments section. I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Uh, I have a Dragoon and Scholar guide in the works as well and if you're on Adamantoy server, you should find me and we should be friends and hang out because you can even join my FC and it's got a house and the stables and look at all the